everyone, we're going to write a quadratic equation that has the given roots. We have two separate problems here, this one and this one. They both them involve complex solutions. So what we're going to be using is, for both of these, uh, is this complex conjugate here and using that. So first of all, the first problem, <clears throat> we have solution 1 equals 2 plus i. Square root of 1 is just 1, and 1 times i is i. So I'm, I'm just going to get rid of those. All right, solution 2 is 2 minus i. Again, square root of 1 is 1, 1 times i is i. All right, now we're going to find our uh, a, b's, and c's for a standard form quadratic equation. So let's add these two up. Solution 1 plus solution 2. That gives us 2 plus i plus 2 minus i. Well, the i's cancel, and this gives you 4. And this is going to be your negative b divided by a. I don't know what my a is yet until I do the um, product. So let's multiply s1 times s2. So that's going to be 2 plus i times 2 minus i. This is where we're going to use this a squared minus b squared. My a is 2 and my b is 1. You don't put the i in there. This takes into account that the i squared is negative 1. So it's like there's a, a 1 in front here. All right, so then all you do is you square both. So this is going to be um, 2 squared plus 1 squared, and this equals 5. That's going to be C divided by A. Since um, they're both whole numbers, we can write these in fraction form, and our A is going to be 1. So we have uh, A equals 1. B, since negative B is 4, then B is going to be negative 4, and C is 5. And we can write the equation as x squared minus 4x plus, um, let's see, why are we getting 15? That shouldn't be 15. So that should be plus 5 equals 0. And that is your final answer. All right. <coughs> now let's do the next one. Same thing. We have solution 1 equals 1 plus 6i divided by 4, and solution 2 is 1 minus 6i divided by 4. So we're going to do the same procedure. We're going to add these up. Since uh, 4 is the same, that's our common denominator. So basically we get 1 plus 6i plus 1 minus 6i. The i's cancel. So we just have this equals 2 divided by um, 4. And um, we're just going to call We I'm, I'm not sure what to do with this right now, but this is negative b divided by a. This one, sometimes we have to change based off of our c divided by a. So let's multiply our solutions. Our a's always have to match. So when we multiply this, you get 1 plus 6i divided by 4 times 1 minus 6i divided by 4. All right, multiply the denominator, you get 16. Again, we're going to use this formula here, whereas our a is 1 and our b is 6. So basically, you're doing 1 squared plus 6 squared. That's going to give you uh, 37 divided by 16 which equals your C divided by A. All right, our A's have to match up. They don't. We need a 16. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this 4 uh, by 4. That gives me the 16 I need for my A. But I also have to multiply the numerator by 4. That gives me 8. Therefore, my A is 16 my b, negative b, is 8, so b is negative 8, and our c is 37. 
Thus, you can write your uh, quadratic equation as 16x squared minus 8x plus 37 equals 0. And that is your final answer. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <music>